Hello my soccer universe, I'm doing best for last, you know I love Serie A and I'm very proud of my Serie A collection. I have quite a few Italian teams, in fact of the 20 teams that are this season in Serie A I have 15 teams in my collection, meaning given that there are only 13 that can fit on the wall, 40 that I can wear, I need to do the order a little bit differently and I'm first gonna show you the shirt I'm gonna wear for the rest of the video which are I've decided for once I'm gonna do the Champions Napoli because usually in those uh, videos I wear a Milan jersey the reason I'm not doing it I want to do it a little bit different and stick with the Champions this time around but of course I have Milan jerseys I have many 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 in my collection being a Milan fan that I am so first I show you my Napoli shirt then we're gonna go from the way the season finished. I'm gonna show you this shirt a little bit more detailed than next because that's the team that will not get on the wall. And then we're gonna go in the reverse order from how the teams finished in the last season. So the Napoli shirt that I'll be wearing for the rest of the video is this one here. It's from Kappa. It's the European home jersey from 1617. It's my first Napoli jersey. And it did not feature, I made once a video of Italian club jerseys, there this one did not feature, so I thought this is the time. I bought this because I really wanted to finally have a Napoli jersey in my collection. Um, and I bought it because it has, it's a European jersey, it had only one sponsor. Yes, it's a box sponsor, which is not nice, but at least that's a little bit better. I also like the... Um, golden kappa logos here i was surprised that i mean it is tight fitting but it was not uh, as super tight fitting as i was initially expecting it so yeah i will wear napoli next so 16 17 the jersey i'm wearing and we have 17 18 is this Cagliari jersey that will not make it onto the wall but you saw it already in my first italian club uh, jersey video it's among the first large Italian teams that I got when I really got into collecting and I love that I got a response. It's a pretty, it's a really, really nice jersey and I'm happy that Cagliari is back. Okay, most of those are more recent, like this Elas Verona. It's actually last season, they got promoted. That was the last season where they had the old style crest. Found this on Sportspar for relatively cheap. Um, classic Elas look with uh, blue with some yellow accents. Maybe uh, the one thing that I find a little bit odd about this one is that, you know, the two-tone blue, but you know, also note the V here for Verona, which is why this color looks a little bit odd, but I think it's a pretty cool feature. As I'm posting this video, I think this is still the most recent addition to my Serie A collection. It's, of course, the same season as the Ellis shirt. It's the Ledger jersey, self-produced, that I recently got. I have it sponsorless. I know self-produced jerseys are a little bit overproduced as is probably the case for this one you know we have the uh, stripes going here but i actually find there's quite some charm in it it's an l it's a little bit tight i like the you know it's m908 is the uh brand that the, but it has the wolf set and you have also the wolf in the ledger crest and what i really like is there is a name set it's falco and we have also here the sun rays because ledger is on the heel of the boot and it's more or less the funniest part of Italy if you would like. For the next one we also stay in the south also a little bit more recent addition and you see um, for now we have shown you mostly southern teams. Salernitana this is from the 2021 season I saw this on Will Haben it was striking I thought I wanted to get a Salernitana jersey of course home jerseys usually take uh, priority but when I saw this, I think this is something different and for that reason I liked it and I went for it. Yeah, it's also my first Zeus jersey, which are quite stretchy. Uh, it's a teeny bit tight fitting, but it's an interesting material. The founding date is over, uh, is on the back and then it says also Salonitana 1919 here. Yeah, interesting shirt. Definitely interesting. Not to everyone's liking, I would assume time to go a little bit more of way up north again uh i think it's another most team in italy at the moment udinese i've shown this in other videos already it's a very unique udinese chair from the old 9 10 season i liked it because you know i have quite a few black and white shirts and this one looked different but i meanwhile i would like to have a 
another Udinese shirt as well with a slightly different design as well and maybe an away jersey so yeah I'll go to Italy in the fall so maybe I have a chance now to a true uh, classic Italian team that unfortunately fell on hard times ever since they were really really successful and I'm talking of course Torino Torino uh, the Granata a really beautiful shirt with a very very interesting very soft material I, I cannot describe to you how soft this jersey actually is this is from a 2021 season where they almost got relegated meanwhile they got a little bit better there um, it's a double double it's, it's a little bit wide but it actually fits very very smoothly I definitely love the bull pattern here on the side really pretty shirt uh, maybe that the shoulder here is a slightly darker red that's maybe the one weird thing but other than that uh, classic Torino and yes why is the Beretta here but that's small potatoes moving one season further in my previous Italian video I showed you my uh, Bologna home shirt so the recently acquired away jersey uh, there's an unpacking video where I explained to you the, the, the two towers that are hidden inside the structure I wanted to have a white Bologna jersey this one seemed to fit the bill quite nicely. I think I got it from Classic Football Shirts. It's a really nice shirt overall. I mean, I love Italian uh, away jerseys because they usually stick to the template. As of late, no, no, not as much anymore. White, and then you add the club's colors uh, somewhere, in this case, on the collar. So, yeah, pretty cool shirt overall. And now we're getting into the big team. Same season for Fiorentina. I have this third jersey this is uh, honestly the, um, a basic version but I actually like it because it's a little bit looser fitting and I really love that Kappa is releasing they have the tight fitting version and then for very reasonable prices you usually around 40 max 50 euros they give you a basic version which very often just copies design maybe the color is a little bit different when this came out Fiorentina was in the finding phase they wanted to get a new logo so they said that for one season we go back to a design from the 80s and to me this was the outstanding conquer combination the uh, sunflower yellow with the purple stripe and I think that the white is here really makes a whole lot of sense and then of course uh, the old style Fiorentina crest I'm still not sure how much I actually like it but I like it for uh, how to say the um the historic vibes that this gives off so there you go you may have heard that juventus had a really bad season that's why they're coming now i almost am ashamed to say i only have three juve jerseys i definitely should have more uh there's no question about that however the one that i have here is quite special it's from the old two or three season it comes with scudetto it's a shirt that will divide opinion i sure but i always enjoyed well once i realized that it is based on the crest that you will use you know the black and white straps you see the oval shape right here and then the Juventus across which you don't see on the uh, front but on the back name set and I have a name set I have the name set for Juve you see it's exactly like the crest and then even the number is in a circle which kind of reflects the coat of arms of Turin here but yeah Del Piero, how I cannot get my much better. The one thing I always have to say about this shirt, how heavy material this is. This is a super heavy lot of material. And even for an XL, this fits more like a double XL, which I absolutely love. So it's a jersey I really like. I know it's a little bit weird, especially maybe a little bit too much black. But hey, this season you is going for black, so fits quite nicely. <laughs> Except that this season they don't have that, so it should be like that, I guess. If you have been watching my channel, you know I'm a Milan fan. However, there's another team in Italy that I really, really like, and especially I think they might have the best color combination in Serie A, and that's the next team. And this is Roma, and I'm showing you a home jersey because, you know, Serie A teams, there's not that much red at the moment, though. I think I'm doing quite, quite fine. I, I almost find it's quite blue. But I'm showing you this 0203 European home shirt. I really like the base red and then you have kind of the orange orangey yellow sleeves here with the old style crest it's copper it is kind of tight uh, and this jersey I got for a really gold price because it is in a little bit of a rough shape there is a slight hole up here um, these shirts when you wear them they kind of get a little bit loose here on the sides and I think I found even a slight gap uh, here yeah 
there's a slight hole where I can stick my finger through here. So not in perfect condition. Uh, someone has even stitched here, up here. But it's still a gorgeous shirt, and I think I got this as a package deal with other shirts that I really, I, I really liked for uh, 25. So I probably would have paid, paid 25 even for this uh, one in bad condition. But I really like that it has actually the three colors. It's pretty cool, I would say. Next team up is a team that I think could make a lot of noise this upcoming season. Talking of course about Atalanta and this is from the season where they made a whole lot of noise even in the Champions League reaching the quarterfinals in this is the European jersey without sponsor which I actually enjoy um, because on the on the um, uh, On the league version of this jersey, the crest was actually centered because there was a sponsor here, but I really like the European version. The interesting part about this jersey is that I think they did the striping here really smart on the sleeves. You know that uh, the sleeves go uh, over, but you have the black strap on the shoulder, which nicely extends them onto the sleeve. I think it's a really smart way. I love the blue collar here. The crest is also has a little bit shine on the back. And then there's this underlying horizontal pattern, which gives the shirt some interesting structure. I wouldn't expect a pattern like this on a vertically striped shirt. This is probably from Atalanta's best season. So there you go. Other lot of fans will definitely appreciate that I'm hanging their jersey next to the Roma jersey, but hey, so there, that's how it worked out. Next up, finishing only fourth last season, thanks to you, we getting the deduction is of course my favorite team. Milan, I could have shown you quite a few and ultra that I actually went with a more recent one, the more recent one, because Milan also this season have a rather weird jersey, so I went with the championship winning home jersey. I got in double XL. It is found this to me at the Puma outlet. I was really thankful for him for doing that um, and getting it for me. Yes, the design is something that you really have to have, to have to get used to. And what really annoys me in a way is that this is the fan version, so not the player issue. Uh, you have the red color color here, which of course the player issue did not have. This is something I really don't like. Get rid of this and uh, have it like, but you know. SP. They usually wore red undershirts, so you had the same look. Uh, the different striping, yeah, that is something we have to get, get used to. I, it's also the closest thing that we gotten until this season to a majority red jersey, which, you know, I always wanted to have a red Milan jersey. The reason why I'm showing to you this is also, it has a name set, it has Giroud on the back, and I really like, they have the same pattern with the striping also on the number, which I think is really cool. So yeah, Giroud scoring the two winning goals in the derby that actually made Milan win that Scudetto. So this jersey, as debatable as it is, will always have a special place in my heart and in my collection. For Inter, I decided to show you the third jersey from their title winning season, which was the 2021 season. Gorgeous shirt. And I don't like grey jerseys, but this one really works because it is so nicely. It has the club's colors here, the color in blue and black. It has horizontal striping, which is always cool. Um, because the original, which they wore in the 98 uh, UEFA Cup final, had the crest centered, it needs to be sensitive. But I find this empty space here is a little bit weird. I probably would have preferred to swoosh here or maybe, you know, rearrange it a little bit. But you know, it is a replica of the 90s uh, shirt, so there you go. Again, something would have needed to be put here, but uh, small, small potatoes. I also like a Pirelli sponsor. In yellow actually works quite well. I think yellow sponsors on Inter work relatively well. It is still without a name set. I was always thinking of getting, because I'm not gonna wear this jersey a whole lot. I'm a Milan fan, uh, Inter jerseys are, nah. I was thinking of either Lukaku or Barella. I was mostly leading Lukaku, but now that Lukaku is persona non grata at Inter, probably I should source a Barella here. Uh, I like him anyway a bit better, <laughs> so there, there, there you go. I think so far I've shown you quite a few really nice shirts. Yes, the Milan shirt is debatable, but most of those are, and also the Sanitana one, we can definitely discuss how useful that is. 
Uh, but I think I'm saving best for last. We're going to Lazio and I could only show you one jersey. It's now my only Lazio home jersey in collection. It's the 1819 Eagle jersey. They had it a few seasons earlier as well, which also looks equally nice. has a slightly different color. I can't tell you how much I enjoy this shirt. I really can't tell you how much I enjoy this shirt. This is so well done. It gives me the 80s feel. They were, they were wearing this for the first time in, in, in the 80s, but having the eagle, having the white and the blue, um, it just sounds, sounds special. And I'm also happy that I have it in sponsorless version because I think the sponsor clutters the shirt up a little bit too much, similar to when Sampdoria has a sponsor. Uh, this one is best left alone. My favorite feature is that the sleeves actually continue the pattern. This gives it this extra shine. And that Macron actually went the way to say, okay, we don't need our logos on the sleeve to be differently. So they're just in white up there, they're ghosted. Makes it even better, we have Macron here. It's an absolutely amazing shirt. Even look at how the numbers and, 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 and the numbers were in this 3D style. So yeah, I uh, have to think about if I would wanna get something on, on there because that jersey is so nice. I don't really wanna wear it that often and you know, I'm definitely on the Roma side in that rivalry, but uh, this is one of the most awesome Serie A jerseys of all time. Shows you that sometimes teams you don't like can produce a, a beautiful jersey that you then just have to have in your collection. So there you go, a total of 15 teams from this Serie A season. As I said, there are quite a few interesting shirts in there. I would like to know which ones do you like best here. What Serie A jerseys do you think I should have? I almost bought a Sassolo shirt, but then uh, decided ultimately against it and wanted to use my budget for something else. Any case, please let me know what you think about this Serie A collection. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!